thanks for joining me again to find out all you need to know in the entertainment world. Today, we have gone the extra mile to bring you a fast rising star. My guest was the sweetheart at the last Nigerian Idols. And though she didn't win, Devi Rice was the first runner up. Stay with me so that she can give us all the behind the scenes gist and also tell us what it's like to be one of the newest celebrities in Nigeria. First, entertainment tidbits. Nollywood actress Chika Ike has shaved off her hair for a new movie role. Nollywood actresses shaving their heads to properly depict a role in a movie is not something new in the industry. So it wasn't a huge surprise when it was reported that Chika Ike received a whooping 5 million naira check to do the deed for her new role in Moment of Tears. The classic V Monologues is back on stage, courtesy Make It Happen Productions in collaboration with the Kudirat Initiative for Democracy Kind. The V Monologues, the Nigerian story, features Taiwa Jai Lyset, Iretiola Doyle, Bimbo Akintola, Biola Shegu Williams, Dakore Gusana Kondi, Omono, Kemi Lala Akinduju, and Rita Edwards at their Gip Hall recital, the Muson Center on Nikon Lagos on May 3 and 4, from 6 p.m. on the third one show, then 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on the 4th of May, two shows. V Molologs is directed by Ifioma Fafunwa, produced by Kemi Lala Akindoju, and supported by EIE Nigeria, Zafaya Events, and Isaac Emokbae Photography. Makeup will be provided by Tara, and the official media partners is YNIJA.com. Kuwaiti author Saud Al Sanusi has won the 2013 International Prize for Arabic Fiction for his portrayal of the lives of foreign workers in Gulf countries in the bamboo stalk. The 31 year old Al Sanusi became the youngest winner in the $50,000 prize's six year history for the story seen through the eyes of Issa the son of a Kuwaiti father and a Filipina mother. Asanusi's work has appeared in a number of Kuwaiti publications, including Al-Watan newspaper and Al-Arabi, Al-Kuwaiti and Al-Abwaab magazines, and he currently writes for Al-Kabas newspaper. He wins $50,000. His first novel, The Prisoner of Mirrors, was published in 2010, and in the same year won the fourth Leila al Othman Prize, awarded for novels and short stories by young writers. Asanusi beat five other finalists for the prize. Each finalist, including the winner, will receive $10,000. Fans of the Mighty Thor got a peek at the upcoming sequel in a newly released trailer showing the God of Thunder, played by Chris Hemsworth, saving his love interest on Earth and taking her back to his home world of Asgard. Thor, the Dark World, reunites Thor with his true love Jane Foster, portrayed by Natalie Portman, and shows his awestruck girlfriend taken in his mystical realm as she meets his family and friends. The trailer early on shows a big trailer, ominously levitating, and an attack on Earth, followed by a reunion of the demigod and the astrophysicist. Asgard in the Thor sequel faces a new threat from male kid played by Christopher Eccleston and his dark elves Thor and Loki again played by Hiddleston may have to team up in order to save Asgard. Thor the Dark World will hit UK screens on October 30 and in America on November 8. Actress Nicole Kidman and Oscar-winning Life of Pi director Ang Lee are joining Steven Spielberg on this year's Cannes Film Festival jury. Chaired by Spielberg, the jury will award the coveted Palm d'Or to one of the 19 films competing at the festival taking place from May 15 to 26. The latest additions join previously announced jurors including We Need to Talk About Kevin director Lane Ramsey and Django Unchained actor Christopher Waltz, who picked up a second best supporting actor Oscar for that role at this year's Academy Awards. Other 2013 jury members include Indian actress Vidya Balan, Japanese director Naomi Kawase, French actor and director Daniel Otil, and Romanian director Christian Mingyu. A documentary is in the works about the late British soul singer Amy Winehouse and it features previously unseen material. 
The film, which will include archival footage never seen by the public, will be directed by Briton Asif Kapadaya, whose 2010 film Senna, about a Brazilian auto racer, won a BAFTA for Best Documentary. The Grammy-winning singer died in 2011 at the age of 27 from alcohol poisoning. Winehouse's 2006 album Back to Black made her an international star. London-born Winehouse, who struggled with drug and alcohol addiction, is credited in part with revival the popularity of soul music. The film, which does not yet have a title, will be shopped to foreign buyers at the Cannes Film Festival in May. Oscar-winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow has been named the world's most beautiful woman for 2013 by People magazine, knocking pop singer Beyoncé out of the top spot. The 40-year-old mother of two credits a five-day-a-week exercise regimen for keeping her in shape as she grows older. It is the fourth time Paltrow, who is married to Coldplay singer Chris Martin has been named to the magazine's annual Beautiful People issue, but the first time landing the coveted cover as Most Beautiful Woman. She joins the likes of fellow actresses Jennifer Lopez, Julia Roberts, Halle Berry, and Jennifer Aniston to top the list. Paltrow reprises her starring role as Pepe Potts in the action film Iron Man 3, which opens next month. The actress has cut back her film work after giving birth and released her second cookbook, It's All Good. This month. She is also the founder of lifestyle and clothing website Goop.com. Paltrow won an Oscar for her role as William Shakespeare's muse in the 1998 film Shakespeare in Love. The full list of People's World's Most Beautiful People can be found on www.people.com forward slash most beautiful. Shaun the Sheep, one of the most popular characters in the Ardian animation stable, is to make his big screen debut in spring 2015. Ardman is teaming up with Studio Canal on the film, which will see Sean leave his farm for a city-based adventure. Studio Canal is financing and will distribute the film in the UK, France, Germany, Australia and New Zealand. The film, to be made using stop-motion animation, will be written and directed by Richard Starzak and Mark Burton. First seen in Oscar-winning short film A Close Shave, Sean went on to star in a TV series that has been exported to more than 170 countries since 2007. The new film story will see Sean's mischief inadvertently lead to the farmer having to leave the farm. Adman's previous features include Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, and The Pirates in an adventure with scientists. Welcome back from Entertainment Tidbits. And like I told you before, Debbie Rice is in the house. Woo! People, people, what's up? It's your girl, D to the E to the V I E. Debbie Rice, Mix Master, Split Guitar Girl. Woo! <laughs> First runner up. <laughs> First runner up, your winner. We were voting. I was voting. Thank you. I can say that now. Thank you. Okay. Yes, thank but you big so ups much. to Moses, too. Yes, really yes, yes. <laughs> to Moses, Teddy Bear. And I. <laughs> And like I've always been wondering, you know, we don't really get to see how it was behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. We get to see the finished product, you know, all of you completely put together, everything. But how was it behind the scenes at Nigerian Idol? Mm -hmm. My sister, the pressure, eh? no be here. <laughs> I'm telling you. See, people just watch the show, but they have no idea what we go through especially during um, the eviction shows. Mm. Man, sometimes I wish they can just send us text message, how far you evicted. So I just, the pressure of standing on the stage and waiting to hear your name. Mm. Seriously, it's, sometimes my heart beat is so... What do you do during the week, apart okay. from rehearsals? You just rehearse, rehearse every No, hour. no, no, aside rehearsals, we go for um, interviews. Okay. Then we actually... Um, we, ha we do voice voice training. Okay. We have a vocal coach who puts us okay. through. Then we go for we go to we go for different programs. Right? It's a lot of sponsored programs. So there's so. really like no rest. No, seriously, no. Rest. <laughs> See, we have lost weight now, guys. If, <laughs> if you know me, if I still have body now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like I well, it's all over now, yeah. Enjoying the benefits from all that like hard seriously, work. Seriously, I am. Okay, now let's talk about a fellow singer. Now I can say that fellow singer, <laughs> Lauren Hill, who may be facing some jail time for tax evasion. Mm -hmm. Now Lauren Hill, we know her from the Fujis. Her voice is kind of similar to yours, actually. I love Lauren Hill. <laughs> seriously, I hoped, I wished I, I did one of her songs during the competition, but all the same. Yeah. <laughs> now she's facing some jail time for tax evasion. What do you think? Why? How do you think a celebrity should be able to find? herself in such a situation, an embarrassing one at that. 
the thing is, to, who, to whom much is given, mm. you know, much is expected. And someone being a celebrity, there is so much care that needs to be taken. Yeah. For her finding herself there, man, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, but... Let's hope that it shall come to pass. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope and um, so. this is the tour season for US musicians. Beyonce is on tour, Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber is on tour. Rihanna had to even cancel one show because she said she had laryngitis. Yes. <clears throat> and you begin to wonder, do we really have stuff like that in Nigeria? From your own, at least, from your little experience. Like, I remember American Idol, they actually had a tour yes. after where all of them were going from city to city, the mm. top 10, yes. and they were giving shows. Do you think we can see something like that coming up? Well, actually, for um, the top three contestants for Nigerian Idol, I know that there is usually this campus fest okay. tour that they do okay. from schools to schools where you sing either your song or a familiar song and all of that. And that will be happening later this year. So. Okay. So they that's kind of like that. Yes, okay. yes, yes. But it. Will, it, will it be free shows or? Uh, you don't I, know yet. <laughs> the thing is, being in the house, sometimes you're not exposed to, to, yes, to current things. We don't, we don't watch. <laughs> you, you, just, you just need to keep rehearsing and all of that. So. But, but the new stuff you've heard since you came out, how do you... No, seriously, Nigerian music is entering another level. <laughs> and I am ready to join them. Yeah. <laughs> taking it to the next level, seriously. We're really looking forward to that. So after the short break, we'll get to find out more about Debbie Rice. Stay on NTA Entertainment. Iconic African fashion brand Tiffany Amber has embarked on its global expansion plans with three new retail outlets featuring its spring-summer 2013 collection tagged Rhythm of Africa. This follows a successful Christmas at London Superstore Selfridges. The collection, which premiered at New York Fashion Week in September 2012, will now be on sale at Italy's leading department store, Larina Scent, from this month. Larina Scent was the first department store to open in Rome in 1887 and now owns a chain of 11 department stores located in several Italian major cities. Larina Scent carries the world's most luxurious brands and has a flagship store in the fashion capital of the world, Milan. In addition to Europe, Tiffany Amber is also concentrating its expansion efforts on the brand's home continent of Africa, where they are launching an in-store concession in Ghana's largest and most respected boutique, Viva, on April 27, bringing its ready-to-wear label to the discerning Ghana fashionista, creative director of Tiffany Amber, Folake Folani Koka, says the brand is celebrating 15 years since launch and the time has come and the demand has risen enough to make shoppers outside Nigeria to enjoy the products. A film installation celebrating Nelson Mandela is taking over the electronic billboards in New York's Times Square. The short presentation was commissioned by the Tribeca Film Institute, the arts organization co-founded by Oscar-winning actor Robert De Niro. Inspirational quotes play across many of Times Square's screens this month to celebrate the anti-apartheid leader's 95th birthday in July. This is coming as two of Nelson Mandela's surviving children have been accused of greed by friends of the former South African president after details of a legal dispute over his financial legacy became public. Madiba's daughters, Makaziwe and Zenani, are embroiled in a bitter battle with two of their father's oldest friends over the control of a trust fund holding one million pounds of his wealth. The money was placed in the fund by Mr. Mandela in 2005 to be distributed to his children only in the event of hardship as he wanted them to forge a career of their own rather than live off his money. According to the Daily Telegraph, Mr. Mandela is said to have put the money in a trust fund to stop his children from fighting over it because he did not trust them. Actor and filmmaker Ben Affleck will be granted a degree from Brown University at the institution's commencement on May 26, along with Pulitzer Prize winning author Jumat Deaz and other luminaries in science, art, and education. The distinction comes on the heels of a banner award season for the 40-year-old who has gone from being a celebrity gossip magnet to a respected creator in his field. Earlier this year, Affleck accepted the Best Picture Oscar for his 2012 film Argo, which is starred in and directed. Brown University notes that in addition to his theoretical achievements, Affleck is also an active 
humanitarian. He recently announced that he was joining an initiative called Live Below the Line, which draws attention to the fact that 1.4 billion people are living on less than $1.5 a day. As a result, Affleck is going to join the effort by surviving on $1.5 a day for a week on behalf of the Eastern Congo Initiative, an advocacy and grant-making organization that he founded. Swedish police say they have found drugs on board a bus used by Canadian pop singer Justin Bieber. Police spokesman Lars Bestrom said a small amount of drugs and a stun gun were found when officers raided the empty bus parked under the Globon concert venue in Stockholm. They declined to identify the drug, saying it had been sent to a laboratory for analysis. No one has been arrested. Police say there are no suspects and won't be taking the matter any further. Justin Bieber is in Stockholm on the European leg of his Believe World Tour. When he was in London in March, the Canadian singer caused controversy when he was late on stage for a concert at the O2 Arena. A few days later, he made headlines again when he confronted photographers outside his central London hotel. Robert Downey Jr. drove up at a snail's space to the Hollywood premiere of his latest soon-to-be blockbuster film in luxury style. With wife Suzanne in the passenger seat, the 48-year-old Iron Man himself stared a bright, shiny red Audi R8 e-tron right into the center of the action at the El Capitan Theater where throngs of press and fans were gathered. Downey was quick to point out that no one was in harm's way because he was driving 0.05 miles an hour. Incidentally, his swanky ride's license plate read fittingly Stark 16. He was asked for comments on co-star Gwyneth Paltrow being named the world's most beautiful woman. He said, I thought, wow, that's good for business. As the red carpet was winding down, the cast stood together before walking into the theater. Iron Man 3 enters theaters on May 3. Actor and director Zach Braff has raised $1.5 million to fund the follow-up to cult film Garden State. More than 20,000 fans donated money within 24 hours through a crowdsourcing website. Wish I Was Here will feature Braff in the lead role as a struggling actor who has to homeschool his children. The Emmy winner wrote online that he did not want to lose his artistic control by signing a deal with a film studio. Big Bang Theory actor Jim Parsons is lined up to co-star in the film with Braff Scrubs co-star Donald Faison likely to make a cameo. Braff, who wrote the screenplay with his brother Adam, said he was inspired by the success of the campaign to bring TV detective series Veronica Mars to the big screen. Cinematographer Larry Sher, who worked with Braff on Garden State and the Hangover comedy trilogy, has joined the actor on the new project. Welcome back. So Debbie, tell us about yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you get into music? And what were you even doing before music took over? Okay, I am Debbie Rice, mm -hmm. a mix master, DR, split guitar girl. <laughs> my name is Ebun Lurishi, and um, I'm a graduate of computer science. I've done my youth service and all of that. I was, I've been doing music. Actually, music is who I am. It's not like music just came and took over me, you know, okay. music is who I am. You've right always from, been involved I've in music. always been involved in music. My dad is a tenor singer, my mom, soprano, so bad as mm. a <laughs> music family now. So, Choir, all yes, that. and all of that. But okay. Nigerian Idol just um, gave me the platform to be heard. Okay. Now I have a voice, I have a face. I'm Why do you anything professionally before Nigerian Idol? Uh, no, Idol? just school, computer okay. science, web design, web application development, and all <laughs> Okay, you describe yourself as sports freak, multi-talented. So tell us about the kind of sports you love. I do Taekwondo. <laughs> Seriously, oh, I can actually fight, like bring you down, bring people down. So all of you that are planning to win me, just watch out. <laughs> actually, I many talents. As in, yes. Then I play volleyball, badminton. You I like play the joke. guitar, you yes, said. Yes, I play the guitar. Any other instruments? I drums, actually. You know, okay. I went to a girl's school, um, secondary school, and you okay. know now there, there has to be a, drama. a drummer yeah. know, in chapel. So yeah. I... I played I played the drums and okay. taekwondo, guitar, volleyball, volleyball, badminton. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, really a sports freak. I love sports. I love sports. That's why I can split now. <laughs> you Actually, should, yeah, <laughs> you should know That's that. Okay, we all loved you. 
on Nigerian Idol. So how was the show for you and how are you able to put up such wonderful performances? Seriously, my performances are wonderful. Yes, we all watch, <laughs> now I watched it over, I watched them over and over again. Thank you. Apart from watching it on TV, we now go to, on um, YouTube and watch it again. And Thank what you. struck me most about the performances was that you acted what you were singing. Oh. So we can just sing you like robots. <laughs> You actually felt what you were singing. So how did you do that? Okay, actually the show, the show was interesting, you know, but honestly, not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, they say nothing good comes easy. Yeah. I learned discipline. I learned hard work. I learned consistency. I learned, I learned to be strong. I learned to be tough because sometimes, you know, when we, especially when we're doing more than one song or yeah. group songs and all of that, you know, you're learning so many lyrics, you're trying to get your dance steps because you have your choreographer and, your and all of that. And your voices too. I could imagine the strain was putting on your voice. Like seriously, there are times that I actually lost my voice just before climbing the stage. Mm. But somehow that's the part where I'll say grace. Mm. Uh, seriously, there was a release of grace and favor upon mm. my special hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how I, I think, I thank God for grace. I thank God I could think outside the box. I don't just, I, I believe in creativity. I yeah. believe in concept. I don't think people should just do things, you know, copying other people and just doing the That's regular. a very good idea because we've seen a lot of copycats. A lot of them. So it's nice to be expecting something fresh yeah, exactly. from me. Um, okay, so how has it been? I know it's not, it's not, a, it's not been a long time since Nigerian Idols, actually. Mm -hmm. It's just been about two weeks or so. Yes, yes, yes. So, but how has it been career-wise? As in, have some new stuff been happening since okay the thing is i think been. this timing is perfect like mm. god just knows how he's doing his thing i'm through with school university i'm through with youth you ready this is like this is like the best time that this is happening there is no distraction mm. i can i would do my career you know computer science and all of them graphics and all of that but right now with this platform that i have music man i want to storm nigerian music industry so and that not, is what has been happening Offers, things like that, people coming up, people knowing your name now. Yeah, actually, screaming your actually name. I've had some <laughs> offers, you know. I thank God for those offers, but I've been having some offers. And I hope <laughs> so I, I make decisions. You have decisions. to make the right, yeah. Yes, right so, who do you look up to in the music industry right now? I love Beyonce. <laughs> I'm sorry she's not Nigerian, but I really love Beyonce. I like, I love the fact that she performs and she sings, mm -hmm. as in she's a beautiful Which combination. Which is kind of your thing too. Like seriously, <laughs> if there is a way that I can do something with that woman, <laughs> ah Lord, I would just, I'm sorry, oh, she's <laughs> but I really love her, I really love her. I okay, love, I so love her you've kind of already answered the question, my next question, which is where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Okay. So that means you see yourself performing with mm -hmm. Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, oh no, perform Beyonce, no, no pride, but that should be less than, less than three years. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's, okay, let's talk about 10 years, since that one is three years, <laughs> 10 years. Well, 10 years from now. The thing is, I'm not just um, all about myself. I actually want people to understand that they can be creative too. Yeah. I want people to understand that they can be winners. I want to bring that out. So in 10 years, it's not just going to be my music, my career, it's going to be helping other people understand and bringing out the creativity, the talent. The same thing them. that Nigerian Idol did for you. Exactly, you want I want to, to give others, back to the society. Which is very good. It was so lovely having you on the show. Thank you so much, rise, had so much fun. Don't. You're gonna sing for us, right? Uh, you have to hear the voice live. <laughs> Entertainment Oh this week. boy, yeah, but there's no need to split, Shay. <laughs> No need to split. <laughs> I'll just split on the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. I love Alicia Keys. Okay. So I'm going to do Alicia Keys's. Um, Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it no be you, baby. <laughs> if it no be you, baby. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. But everything means nothing if I ain't got you. <laughs> ah, As in, in the sisterly way, not the 14 years way. <laughs> Thank you so that was much. lovely, wonderful, Thank you. Thank you. great. Thank I'm you. looking, I'm looking forward so much to hearing more from you, seeing your face on billboards, yes, amen. see you on TV, and amen. all that. Amen. So lovely to have you on the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Naja, watch out for me. Seriously, watch out for me. Join me again next weekend for all you need to know about your favorite celebrities on entertainment this week.